I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I spread manure yesterday, and it did pretty good. It was, uh, it was too windy to film anything, but it was a big bunning or something. It's from Great Britain. Big, huge spreader. But it breaks, it has vertical beaters, and it made a very, or did a very beautiful job, so, but this is the first scratch that I've done this year, and it's the first of May, so it shows you how far behind we are. In the old days, we would be just about, well, just waiting for dry beans and be caught up, but anyhow, it's not the old days. So, we be farming with lazy man steering. But this side, we got lots of places where I fed the cattle, so you gotta watch. We had five or you know half to three quarters of an inch of rain last night, so but in the sand that don't hold you up. But where I fed the cattle and stuff, some of those spots are bad, and then in the lowlands where there are any more wet, they're pretty greasy. So I don't know if you'll notice the cows over there. I shipped two semi loads of pears because I lost grass so we're getting less and less cows all the time which is not what I like but and of course I gave the cows away because of this COVID shit but when you can't feed them you can't feed them so this is where I spread the moldy silage from the top I just put in the spreader and spread four loads of that. So it, it spreads it pretty nicely. And then up here, those are places I fed. So there's silage and green feed that I fed on the frozen. When I was frozen ground, I fed it there. And they cleaned up pretty good, but like I said, you get a snowstorm or something, they don't get it all. So just trying to get the scratch through. So there it'll kind of plug up and then it'll burn through so not too bad but no one else wants to run the tractor so I get to do it I tried to convince why he should do it but he wasn't really excited about it but another day it won't be so tacky and things will flow better and then maybe he'll want to run it but I'll bring you out a little later. I went a little heavy on the manure here. This was when I was finishing up and I wasn't going to even manure this part because I fed here. And then I'm like, oh, no, I can make it all work. And so it went a little heavy, but the plants will either burn or grow and I'll find out when they emerge. But as you can see, I'm Okay, close to the fence over there, so I'll get the 20 acres that I spread done today. And then, like I said, tomorrow's probably going to be a cow day. I'm already sick of driving a track without air conditioning. And it's not that hot out today. And always dirty windows. But, lazy man steering is working well. But it's a little rough out here, so I can't drive too fast. Or else the GPS can't work. I can't steer the old tractor quick enough in the lumps and bumps if I go any faster. But I think I'm going, I don't know, I'll just you'll see it. About four, maybe 4.4 4 mile an hour. Oh well, it's going anyhow. A little smoother out. Well, I made it across to the other, the east side, so all the manure that I'd spread yesterday, the day before, well, it was like 20 acres, is all work. So that part's done, because like I said, I'm probably going to play with cows tomorrow, so I won't, well, I might come out and work for a few hours, but wait till everyone wakes up, come around the tractor, so. Anyhow, it's changed a lot over the day, from being greasy to not so greasy. 
or not greasy at all, just in spots. So, but why it's got my horse saddled for me, so I'm gonna go and check cows, take a couple calves, and by that time it'll all be dark because it's it's after eight o'clock now. So, but if I can chip away at it, we'll get planting next week. Is the plan. See you in a couple minutes or a second for you. Thought I was I as I was walking in I'd show you how the my little hay field's doing. This is of course obviously the grass hay with a little bit of alfalfa in it. So it's coming along. I need to fertilize it, but like I said. If native grass was doing this, not just the tame grass, we'd have all the cows in pasture, but it's gotta start somewhere, so at least this is coming. If I get a shot of fertilizer on it, then in the middle of June, we can cut this and start making hay, making cow feed and horse feed. So I better get walking while it'll be getting tired of waiting for me. So there's a little baby. Oh, I'm gonna put my arm under my rein. And Wyatt's gonna tag that. That was born back in April still. Oh, come on, Wyatt. I got you on video now. I'm leading Chico. And I'm raining with my arm. <laughs> just, just flank it down, Wyatt. Flank it down. Okay, I'll let you know if she hits you. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, Wyatt, come this way, come this way. She didn't mean any business, but we'll, we'll let her mom chase her now. <laughs> well, I'll bring you out when we get to the next one. Well, I don't know, unless you guys are colorblind, you can see that that's a black calf from my beautiful little crop-eared red heifer and I'm not really happy about it because that means it's a Solera calf from the neighbor's bowl so but it's alive it'll turn into beef heifer quiet pardon bull bull okay the other one's a heifer though okay we better get our check going on now we only got one cow left to calve, and the only reason she gets to calve is she was too ugly to sell. But we sold a couple loads of pears, and then I took a purebred that hadn't calved up, and then and Wyatt took one up, and the the one that Wyatt we took of Wyatt's uh, she calved at the auction market, so she won't sell for a week now, and they're not worth nothing, but. But we can't change that part. So, but I'll bring you out if we get something roped that needs to get treated. If you're really clever, you'll notice that this is the only black hided cow now. That's Robin's first calver. And her calf has zero ears and it's just a heifer. And with what these cows sold for, I wasn't going to take in a heifer that's worth $3,500 and get $1,800. That's Canadian guys, so the US guys are listen thinking that doesn't sound too bad. Anyhow. So like I said there's her calf. And she would have sold super cheap, so she can work here for the next ten years or eight years anyhow. So better keep checking. Easy. Easy buddy. That was a 
wasn't so bad, was it? Anyhow, we found one that was not feeling so good. So he's just got a big dose of antibiotic. Looks like your new saddle strings are getting chewed on. Oh, gross. Yeah, I paid too much for that to get chewed on. You can walk over there and stop them calves from chewing on your saddle strings. Good. Don't. Here. New saddle. Oh yeah, Sean. Sure. Anyhow, Wyatt had a issue, so. That's his new saddle. And he has been instructed by his mother to only call these bucking rolls, not the slang term. So we're gonna let this calf up. So I'm gonna put my phone back in my pocket for a second. So that's the only cow we have left to calve, and she was too ugly to sell. She has good calves, but she is not she is the ugliest cow I have. Her mother was gorgeous and and her mother died on pasture, so I kept her and She's a ugly, but like I said, this summer, well, here this week, hopefully she, or I guess next week, I guess it's Friday. Anyhow, she'll calve, and then end of summer, she can go make hamburgers out of her, and we'll wean her calf off. But anyhow, that's ranching. So that's one left to calve, but it's been a long go, because it means we've been calving for inadvertently four months which isn't our intention to do that so i just got to make sure these little guys in here are okay and no new baby yet i right, check victoria every morning as soon as i get up but she's not far from now because she's waxing so but one day she'll have a full and you guys will get a video whether you like it or not. Anyhow, it's nine o'clock, so I feel like going in. So Wyatt will sign off if he's got time from Snapchatting. Be sure to comment, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and have yourselves a great day. Take care.